In this lesson, we're going to introduce the basics of proportions. Uh, so first of all, what is a proportion? Uh, well, in some earlier videos, we looked at ratios and rates. And a proportion is just simply a mathematical statement that two ratios or two rates are in fact equal to one another. Okay, so that's what a proportion is. So in order to start talking about proportions, we're going to need some vocabulary terms. So first of all, um, if you have two ratios or rates set equal to each other, that's really two fractions set equal to each other. So it might look like this. Six tenths equals three fifths. And, uh, you know, of course, know that that would be a proportion because six tenths is the same fraction as three fifths. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to call the upper left and the lower, uh, sorry, the upper left, the first term, the lower left, the second term, the upper right, the third term, and the lower right, the fourth term. And there's really nothing special about the way we named these. Um, it's just so that we can identify the different parts of our proportion. So we're going to call the first and the fourth term the extremes. All right. So the extremes are these two. And then we will call the second and third terms the means. Okay, So we have the extremes and the means. And what the fundamental property of proportion says, this, uh, this property down here, is that in a proportion, the product of the extremes is equal to the product of the means. Okay, So what that means is that if you multiply the first and fourth terms, that will be the same as multiplying the second and third terms. Okay, so let's let's try that with um, our example of six tenths equals three fifths. All right. Well, uh, we we're going to multiply six times five, and we want to know uh, is that equal to ten times three? Well, of course it is because both of those products equal 30. Okay. Now, um, a way that a lot of people like to remember this, and I, I kind of like to as well, is that this whole checking of means and extremes can be thought of as the cross products. Okay. So uh, the reason we say cross products is because we are going to multiply 6 and 5. We are going to multiply 10 and 3 to get this 6 times 5 equals 10 times 3. So thinking of it as a cross product is a good way to uh, remember what to do to check two proportions. All right. So here's a couple examples. So what we need to do here to decide whether the following um, are actually proportions is we need to multiply the means and extremes or take the cross product. So that means I'm going to take 8 times 45 and I want to know is that equal to, I'll put a little question mark there because I don't know if it's equal yet, is that equal to 15 times 24? Well we just got to try it out. So down here I'll do the scratch work for that and I get 360 when I multiply 8 and 45 so hopefully I end up with 360 when I multiply 24 and 15. But let's see. 5 times 4 is 20. Carry the 2. And sure enough, I get 360. So since, of course, 360 equals 360, the answer to part A will be yes. So let's take a look at this other example. So here, again, we'll take the cross product. We need to know is 7 times 26 equal to, don't know yet though, so we'll put a question mark, is that equal to 13 times 15? All right, well, we just need to check. So 26 times 7, 7 times 6 is 42, carry my 4. 7 times 2 plus 4 is 18. All right, so when I multiply 15 and 13, 
I need to know whether I'm going to get 182. So 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times 1 plus 1 is 4. And if you were kind of paying close attention to those numbers, you would actually know right away that you're not going to get 182 because you have two different uh, odd numbers multiplied together, and that's never going to produce an even number. So we'd say 182 does not equal 195. And so since the means and extremes don't equal each other or the cross products don't equal each other, uh, we're going to say no, this is not a proportion.